Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm sure that you're all there helping uh, your caregivers, uh, uh, and uh, the caregivers are going to help you through the program, right? Right. A little bit of magic here, so let's see what we have for you today. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, I live on a brook, and in that brook, there are some ducks all year round. And I see how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, and pretty ones too. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble wobble, wibble wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Can you do that with me? Come on. And <clears throat> get out your fingers. And here, this is the other duck, right? Six little ducks went that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, and pretty ones too. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. <clears throat> well, it's pretty windy out here today, but the leaves are really blowing around, and near those leaves, sometimes you find a little caterpillar. What we used to call woolly bears, they're brown and fuzzy, not like this. It's the old little caterpillar, you know. But here we go. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon Big Brother, then upon her dear grandmother. Grand said, oh, little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Our Grand's great. Come on, let's do that with me. Pretend you have a caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother, they said, little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon big brother, then upon her dear grandmother. Gran said, little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. <laughs> Well, let's see what book I have today. I have a book about placement or where things are. So maybe you, during the story, can show what we're reading, okay? By putting your hands somewhere underneath, into, out, between. Those are all words that are <clears throat> important in our life. And this is Inside Mouse. And Outside Mouse. And this book is by Lindsay Barrett George. Now there's a lot in this book. And first of all, look at the two mice. This is the this is a house mouse. He's gray. 
but the one that lives out in the fields <clears throat> is brownish with bigger ears and a white tummy. Hmm. They're a little bit different, but they're cousins, right? Inside mouse, outside mouse. <clears throat> there they are. Looks like they're sharing strawberries. What do you think? I think they're friends. Inside my house, there is a mouse. There he is. He lives in the wall. Outside mouse <laughs> lives in a stump. There he is. In the stump. <clears throat> inside mouse sleeps in a clock. That's the inside of a clock, for heaven's sake. Uh, and they made a little nest there. And uh, outside mouse sleeps at the bottom of the stump. Look at that. Uh, what is a stump? A stump is an old tree that's died and part of it's still there. Inside mouse, climb, uh, uh, the, the mouse, the inside mouse ran down the wall. The outside mouse ran down the stump. That's how he gets in, with a little hole there. It goes inside. Inside mouse ran across the rug. Across the rug. The outside mouse ran across the ground. Inside mouse ran under the table. Uh-oh. Next to the cat. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty close. Outside mouse <clears throat> ran under the bush next to the hare. What's a hare? That's another nerdy name for a rabbit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Inside mouse ran up the chair. There he goes. And the outside mouse ran up the wall. There he goes. Inside mouse in front of the door. Dog. <laughs> I think it was right under the dog's nose. And outside mouse under the squirrel. Oh my goodness me. Oh, in front of the squirrel, I'm sorry. Into the can and out. Did you go into the pencil can and out? Maybe he found a little crumb in there. And he went inside the can and out. And that's a watering can, isn't it? He ran behind the book. And behind the bird. The outside mouse. Where's behind? Here's behind. Here's in front of, right? Ah, he ran between the socks. Right between the socks. The outside mouse ran between the rocks. Ooh. <laughs> Inside mouse ran below the spider and over the ball. See that spider up there? Ah, the outside mouse ran under the spider. See that big yellow field spider? And over the stone. And there's the woolly bear. See the woolly bear? He's a little caterpillar. <clears throat> He ran through the hole. There he goes, through the hole that the pillows made. This outside mouse ran through a hole in the wall. You see his tail disappear? There it goes. Up, side mouse ran along the bat, up the windowsill. And the outside mouse ran along the hose.
the enzyme house ran around the flowers and stopped. And the outside mouse ran around the flowers and stopped. The inside mouse huh, stopped to huh, look outside my house. And the outside mouse stopped to look inside my house. Look at that. Hello. Hello. The great book about placement of things. Well, today it's very windy. In fact, a big branch just hit my window right before I started my program. Really blows things around, doesn't it? Listen to the wind, the wind is calling me. Hear, listen what it, hear it say. Ooh. Let's do that again, All right, Granny G. Listen to the wind, the wind is calling you. Listen, hear it say. Right now, the owls are calling a lot out there. And this is a, this is supposed to be a big horned owl. There he is. The wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? Right, if we listen, we'll learn a lot. Yes, we will. Here we go. The wise old owl sits high in the oak. Where? High. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Can't we be more like that wise old bird? What do you think he's listening for? I think he might be listening for his dinner. Whoa, watch out little mice. Well, I have a book today and it's by Joanne Oppenheim. Have you seen trees? It's a little bit long for us, but I'm going to read you about the fall, and that's the time of year that we're in now. And look, have you seen trees? And look at that big tree. Have you seen fall trees? Fall, full fall nut trees? Walnut, chestnut, butternut, hickory nut? I like the taste of the fall nut trees. There they are with a stick trying to knock the, the nuts out of the uh, branches. When I was a little girl, we had uh, walnuts in our yard. Ooh, red leaves, yellow leaves, orange falling down leaves. Oh, how beautiful. Have you seen the sight of the bright fall leaves? Sure, we didn't have quite as bright a look, leaves as we usually do, but... <clears throat> Dry leaves, brown leaves, covering the ground leaves, make a crunching sound of leaves. Dropping everywhere leaves, left the tree bare leaves. I can hear the crunch of the crisp, dry leaves. Well, they have to be dry, and then you rake them in a pile and you can jump in them. But the thing is that those landscapers, they, they blow them right away, right the minute they Hit the ground so you don't have much chance. Cold tree, old tree. Look at that old tree. 
planted long ago tree, holes in the bowl of a dark cold tree. Wrinkled bark, rough bark, twisted, corky, cracked bark, white bark, smooth bark, uh, slick without a groove bark. And then what's going to happen? Oh, fall is going to go away. And then what comes after fall? Winter, right. Have you seen Trees by Joanne Oppenheim? <clears throat> well, let's see. I see a carpet here. Do you see? What's a carpet? A carpet's another name for a rug, right? It covers the floor. Leaves are softly falling down. They make a carpet on the ground. When wish the wind comes whirling by and sends them dancing to the sky. If you pretend you're a tree and you have leaves on your fingers, come on. The leaves are softly falling down. They make a carpet on the ground. When wish the wind comes whirling by and sends them dancing to the sky. Good, that was a great job, great job. Hocus Pocus, it's fall. And this is by Ann Sibley O'Brien. <clears throat> now, we know some magic words, don't we? What are two of them that you know? I know one is please. Very magic. It does wonderful magic things when you say please. And what about thank you? That's magic too. It makes someone know that you appreciate them. So those are called magic words, right? Hocus pocus is another huh, magic words in our storybooks. Hocus pocus, boom, it's fall. <clears throat> Summer days. Oh. Begin to cool. Alakazam. There's another magic word. Ah, it's time for school. Spiky pods are brown and dried. Open sesame. Ah, clouds inside. All oh, those seeds just burst out of there. It's a milkweed pot, right? Hummingbirds love those. Geese and ducks prepare to fly. Zip and zing. They're in the sky. There they go. Sometimes you can hear the geese honking. Honk, 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 honk. At night, too, they fly at night. Leaves on trees are green and bright. Abracadabra, what happens? Woo, what a sight. Is abracadabra another magic word? Chilly gusts toss leaves around. Shazam! A blanket for the ground. Covering the ground. Busy squirrels uh, fill their cheeks. Abba Zabba. Uh, food for weeks. They're storing up their food. You see those squirrels scurrying around looking for seeds and nuts. Bins of fruit are piled high, higgly piggly, up. We made a pie and we got first prize too. <clears throat> that must have been at a fair. <laughs> Pick a pumpkin, orange and fat, razzle dazzle. Ah, look at that. You see some of those jack-o'-lanterns, huh? 
chipmunks dig their burrows deep. Some salala bim. They're fast asleep. Yep, some animals go to sleep for the whole winter. Right? A little chipmunk all curled up in his little burrow under the ground. Put on a hat, a woolly sweater, presto changeo. Ah, that feels better. It's getting a little cold out there. Our winter coat. Wrap up tight with winter near. Hocus pocus, fall is here. And it is, it is. That is by Anne Sibley O'Brien. Hocus pocus, it's fall. Let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we have to get up for a minute. I have something that you all know. I want everyone to help me. What is that? Is that the alphabet, huh? All those letters that are in the words that I use. Mm -hmm. Can you help me sing the alphabet song? The ABCs. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? You gonna help me sing? Come on! Whoops! There goes my leaves. The wind just blew them off the table, didn't they? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Absolutely. I look forward to it. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Probably we'll take down half the tree with us. Oh, no. There we go. And we want to put the moon up. There's the moon. There we go. And here is old Mother Goose. You thought I was Mother Goose, didn't you? Yeah. Mother Goose is my great grandma. <laughs> there she is. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. Now, what is a gander again? It's a daddy goose, right? Mother Goose had a house. It was built in the woods. You're an owl by the door. Where Sentinel stood. And he guarded the house for her. Mother Goose came out <clears throat> and caught the goose soon. And mounting his back, flew up to the moon. So come on, everybody, everybody, here we go. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. Mother Goose had a house. It was built in the woods where an owl by the door for sentinels stood. And the goose came out and caught the goose soon and mounting his back, whoops, flew up to the moon. The owl fell asleep on the job here. What is this? Gracious six. Well, I think it's almost time to say goodbye, but here's Teddy Bear, he needs his nap. Do you take a nap now? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, climb the stairs. 
Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. Bye bye. Pat to Granny Jean, and bye bye to my Teddy too, and bye bye to Mr. Owl. It's time to say goodbye, and bye bye to the outside mouse, and bye bye to the inside one too, and bye bye to Mr. Uh, let's see, who, who did we miss? I think we covered everybody, and six little ducks. Yeah, and bye bye to all my friends. I hope you'll come back again. See you next week. Bye bye.